G'day guys, welcome to Yenna Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your person who will pig and I'm back today with a new video and a new style of video, at least to me anyway. I first want to say I apologise if you can hear any weird noises in the background. I can't catch a break. No matter where I go, there's either dogs barking over here, kids playing over there, music blasting over there, so I will do my best, my absolute best, to try and remove any noise so there's no distractions. Now this video that I want to do with you guys today uh, is a first for me. It's kind of like a video off another video. So Teresa is dead and Emily Hand Hand created a video called New Makeup Nonsense Bingo quite some time ago. Like it's got to be at least over 12 months. Anyway, I played along as well as some other people, Audra at home and quite a few other people along the way played along with that where they would um, randomly draw uh, makeup products that are being released lately and they would talk about them and they would have a drink while they were trying to mark them off on their bingo card. Now I love that game but it really does take a lot to edit and um, anyway so recently uh, Emily Hanhan, Teresa is Dead and Audra at Home came out with a new game off that called uh, Makeup Hangover where they talk about everything that they didn't get to talk about in that last video. This one sounds more like right up my alley because I am really funny when it comes to makeup. Like I don't love everything. I'm not obsessed with a lot of makeup. I'm very particular, you know, I like a, a good balance between skincare, hair care, makeup and everything like that. And so in a month they could bring out a hundred things and I might only like maybe five or ten of them. So I thought I wanted to jump on this one, see if I can have a good go at it, see how we go, and see if you guys even like it as well. So anyway, that's what I want to do today and if you're interested in that, I have eight items that have been re either released or about to be released in the last month or two and uh, I want to talk to you about them, whether they're good, whether they're bad, just my opinions. And if you feel like chatting with me down below, go for it, hit me up, and uh, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back, guys. So the first product that I want to talk to you about is from Essence, and they have brought out their new Lash Princess eyeliner pen. Now, I think that this is a very, very smart idea, but only if they execute it well. Uh, so I absolutely love the Essence uh, Lash Princess Mascara and actually it's all I use. Uh, every time I try something new I end up going back to this and I, I think they've started to realise that people are obsessed with this so they've tried to capitalise on, capitalize on it. Now I think that, that is a good idea provided that, um, that they actually do it justice. Like if they bring out these eyeliners and they're crap then I think it's really going to hurt the mascara um, and, and it can be a bit confusing too because if someone has never heard of the Essence Lash Princess uh, mascara and they see um, bad reviews on this uh, version of the eyeliner they might sort of put two and two together and think that the mascara is crap. I don't know. Um, I can't really get away with using these sorts of liners because I've got deep set hooded eyes and I've got so many sort of wrinkles in all the wrong places. It just doesn't work for me. Um, and that's fine, that's cool, but I am interested in this. And um, even if it's just to sort of tight line my top uh, lash line, I don't know. But I do think this is clever and um, you know, it's an affordable option too. It looks like a felt tip. Hang on, let's just give it a bit of a read here. It says that it features an easy to handle, chubby design and cone shaped felt tipped, perfect for creating bold on natural looks. The vegan formula, there you go, uh, glides on and stays on, delivering intense long lasting color and smudge proof finish. It's in black, black waterproof and brown for $4.99. I would say that's American. Um, it's probably gonna be like more like eight to ten dollars in Australia which is perfectly fine that's still very affordable can't complain with that let's go move on to the next one I have on my list is the oh my gosh these things I don't know why I'm obsessed with this and I think maybe it's because of the colors or maybe because I'm like in colder weather and just desperate to get some of that warm tropical feel good uh, this is the Sol de Janeiro hair and body fragrance mists there are three of them, uh, limited editions at the moment. And now I'm gonna murder these names, so I do apologize. We have the Shirosa Sea and Soul, uh, which is a juicy citrus and ocean musk. We have the Shirosa Tan Lines, which is a 
Solar Tube Rose and Leet de Coco. Hmm, probably said that wrong. And then we have the Shirosa Tropical Night, which is a creamy tonka bean and vanilla absolute. I'm not sure whether I would like the Tropical Nights because I'm not a huge fan of vanilla. Some of these um, have like vanilla undernotes in them anyway, but I am very, very curious about Sea and Soul. Um, actually, I want to smell them all, but my closest store is two and a half hours away, guys. And I'm not going to like, I mean, in America, they're saying that these are $20 each. It's probably going to be more like $35 Australian. Um, I can't just buy all three. In fact, I want to smell them all, even the ones that they've got beforehand. So I might have to do a trip to Melbourne just so I can go and sniff these. I don't even know if these are going to be released in Australia, but I really do hope that they are. I'm very interested in Sea and Soul. Tan lines as well, but more so Sea and Soul. I don't know why. There's just something that's pulling me to it. But anyway, I think these are beautiful. They look fun. I want them. Um, I have to admit though, I don't know why I want these. Like I've tried the Sol de Janeiro uh, Bum 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 Bum, whatever you want to call it, cream. That hurts my head so bad. It is so strong. I'm not a fan of that um, scent. And I don't know, like I never thought that I would consider even buying anything from this brand again. Um, but I don't know what it is. I think they've oh, they're either done really, really good with advertisement or there's some sort of trickery going on here. Anyway, let's move on guys. The next thing that I have pulled up to talk to you guys about is the um, Fenty Skin, the Cherry Treat Conditioning Lip Oil. There is something that looks very naughty about this. I don't know what it is. This looks delicious. <laughs> Not that you're supposed to eat it, but I wanna try this. I've actually never tried a lip oil before. I'm not sure how that would go. Um, I do prefer sort of like a matte formula. Don't get me wrong, I like lip balms and, and stuff like that, but I've never tried a lip oil, but this one looks like it's right up my alley. I don't know about the cherry flavour, um, I suppose. I don't have a problem with cherry, but hmm, it can be sickly sometimes, but um, yeah, I like the idea of this. Um, eh, yeah, I'd like to try this. I don't really have much else to say about it, do I? I don't even know when it is out, unfortunately because I didn't write it down. But this looks cute. I wanna try this, I don't know why, but I'm just feeling it. Once again, it's so much more like summery sort of vibe. <laughs> We're not in summer here. Um, maybe I'm just, I think I'm just yearning for warmer weather again. I hate the cold, guys. Anyway, let's move on to the next thing, which is the Laguna, um, the NARS Laguna Bronzing Creams, they've brought out some more shades. Um, I never actually saw this when it first came out, when it was a limited edition. And then I saw it when they re-brought it out and I thought, oh, I like this. But I had literally just brought the powder. And I'm like, oh, do I really need another Laguna bronzer, even though it's a cream? And the cream's probably going to be better for my skin because I got dry skin. It's probably going to be much better. Should I get it? Should I not? I don't know. I like this. I really do. And I do know that cream products work on my skin far better than powder. There's nothing wrong with the powder on my skin. I absolutely love it. I love everything about it. But there's something about this that makes me want to get it because I know that it might up my game even further with not looking like a crusty dusty mummy. And that makes me want to try it. Um, and I might, but now there's so many shades, I really don't know which one to go for, to be honest with you. I'm nervous that if I pick the wrong one, I'm going to be stuck with this cream bronze that I'm not going to be able to pan, and um, and I've spent a lot of money on it. So that, that makes me nervous. I don't know which one to pick here. There's so many options. I really like the idea, though. I really, really do. And um, I may even consider picking this up in the future. Let's move on. The next product, and... Um, I don't even know why I want this, but I do. This is from Wishful Skin. I've never heard of them before. I've never used anything from them, obviously. And I don't typically use eye creams, eye serums, or anything like that. Not anymore, anyway. I'm, I don't really see any sort of results from any of them that I've ever used. But this is the Eye Lift and Contour... Contour... 
This is the Eye Lift and Contour 1% Patchouli and Peptide Serum. I don't know, there is something about this, uh, maybe it's the green packaging, I don't know. Maybe it's that I know that that um, applicator is going to be cooling under my eye, I don't know. But I really do want to try this. Um, I don't believe that this is really going to do anything, to be honest with you. I've got to be frank with you, I don't think it's going to do anything. And for $45, and if that's American, whoo! <laughs> um, I probably won't end up picking it up, but I want to, unless I can like pick this up on sale or something. Um, I don't know, have you guys used this? Let me know in the comments below if it's any good, because I am curious. Uh, or any other creams for that matter. I mean, I've tried quite a few creams and I just don't see any results. So right now I'm just sort of working on my, um, my retinol, because that's about the only thing that I'm seeing results with. So, any hoosies, let's move on. The next thing is uh, another brand that I've never heard of before, never used before, and it's even a product that I've never used before. This is the Super Goop Lip Sunscreen, or Lip Screen Sheer SPF 30. This is a, a lip balm that's got sunscreen in it, and I think that is, that's perfect, especially for um, Australia. I don't think I use a lip balm that has a sunscreen in it. I don't even really think about it, but I should because it's on my face. Um, I just sort of like get the sunscreen and just sort of slather it all on. And I, do I even get my lips? I don't think I do because I don't like, I don't like sunscreen on my lips. That could be interesting. I wonder, I wonder what it's like. I actually want to try it. I think I'm going to give it a go. Um, it's $22. I don't think that's too bad. I don't know, actually. Mm, nah. I mean, it's a lip balm with a purpose. Am I going to justify this? I don't know. I want to try it. I need a new lip balm, don't I? Anyway, guys, I think this is cute. I love the packaging. There's something about the packaging that's actually pulling me in. Um, I don't know whether it's got any flavour or scent or anything like that, I can't see that. But that yellow is like making me feel like citrus vibes, so maybe there's like a citrus sort of flavour to this. It'd be great if there was, I'd like that, that'd be nice, like some sort of juicy fruit, that would be great. Anyway, I like this, I think this is cute. Um, it's, it's actually giving up like a um, milk makeup vibe to me for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it's like nice, clear, clean packaging. I really, really like that. So yeah, let's move on. All right. So we only have two items left. This next one, um, is, uh, blushes actually from Benefit Cosmetics. They don't typically bring out a lot of things, but all of a sudden, boom, you know, this plethora of blushes and I'm not complaining. Um, Look, I would have liked for them to find some sort of different packaging other than that box style packaging, but the box that they've used is not as big and bulky as um, some of their highlighters from the past that I've noticed. I do really want to pick some of these up. I'm not sure which one. I'm thinking maybe um, Peachin. Uh, I'm not sure. I hmm, Possibly even Shelly. I don't know. I'm really vibing the sort of more orangey blonde, orangey blondes, <laughs> the orangey uh, blushes at the moment, and I'm not sure why, because I used to hate, I used to hate anything that sort of even had the tinge of orange on me, I don't know, but um, I'm not digging the sort of rosy, bright sort of pink, or even deep mauves on my skin tone anymore, I, I, I really like the sort of terracottas and the and the oranges so um i might consider picking something up i don't know so we have and i'll tell you um i think they're already out i believe we've got peachin which is a golden peach blush we have moony uh which is a rich berry blush we have java rosy which is a mocha blush krista strawberry which is a pink blush and shelly butterfly which is a sunny what which is a sunny Willy, uh, Sunny Willy, uh, Pom Pom Terra? Okay, whatever. Anyway, um, I'd like to get my hands on maybe one or two of these, give it a go. I've not tried a blush from them. I've only got a highlighter, which is that dandelion one. Really love that. Like, I am babying the shit out of that. I'll probably never use it, like, all up because it's a highlighter. I mean, seriously. But I, I want to try it. I do want to try it. And I'm glad that Benefit has 
extended their range and um, I'm excited to see what else they bring out in the future to be honest with you. That packaging though. Talking about packaging and the last thing that I want to talk to you uh, about unfortunately it, I just want to take the piss out of them just a little just, just, a, just a little bit right. Maybelline. So Maybelline have brought out these shadow blocks these stacked trio shadow blocks and I don't know how to feel about this like I was looking at it and I'm like yeah okay cool fine you know budget makeup and then I was just thinking to myself you know what no no this is shit like it's like they go out of their way to produce packaging that screams cheap but the price tag that they put on their makeup like okay we have them in our drugstore but would I consider them to be drugstore prices? Not really. Not their eyeshadows, no. Um, you might get a lipstick occasionally for $10 when it's on sale, but typically their, their, their makeup, you know, starts around about $21, you know. A lipstick could be $21 to $31. Um, an eyeshadow palette could be $25 to $40. I don't class these guys as drugstore. I mean, um, I don't know if I've got the price of this. No, I don't. Oh, it says $10 each. That's American. Uh, in Australia, it, it will be more than that. And But even if you look at that, that's three shadows, maybe $3.30-ish each. $3.30 a shadow. I mean, it's not Pat McGrath prices, but it, I wouldn't class it as one of the cheapest uh, eyeshadow brands out there. I mean, I would much rather put my money into ColourPop, even though ColourPop produce way too much stuff. There are so many other things out there, other, other brands out there that I would much rather pour my money into. And I just think that they could, like, they could try harder. They don't need all this bulky, ugly packaging um, I thought we were like past all of this. Like it just, it's ugly. The shades look beautiful. Um, there's that green one there that I was looking at. It, maybe, right? Maybe. But that packaging is so clunky. It's boxy. It's childish. And I'm sorry. I just can't do it. I just, yeah, I don't know. I would have just rather this, even just this basic little um, trio, quad even, um, would have been fine. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you wanted to put it at the same price, I don't want to pay for all that plastic. That's a lot of bulk. That's crap. I don't like it. And yeah, I don't know. Even even when Melt did their stacked sort of shadows, I didn't like it. I, you know, if I can't see it, I'm not inspired. I could pull it all apart. I mean, do I need to say anything? <laughs> so I, I am sorry, Maybelline, but this was not it for me. Um, but anyway, guys, look. I'm not going to drone on any longer. That was just a couple of products that I've noticed in the last couple of months that um, have been uh, posted about either being released or whatever that I thought that you guys might be interested in, or at least I was anyway. And um, if you like this sort of format, feel free. Send me a message down below. Let me know. If you don't like it, tell me. I don't care. Uh, look, I, I enjoy chatting with you guys. And um, yeah, hopefully it won't be too long before the next time. See you later, guys. Bye.